After nearly a year, Solana mainnet just went down for five whole hours. What does that mean for Solana's price? And what does it mean for the network as a whole? The crypto trilemma is a tricky one. You have scalability, decentralization, and security. Solana definitely has the scalability with transactions per second way above many of the other blockchains, but their decentralization is definitely in question, especially today after a five hour outage can be restarted by only a handful of data centers where all of the Solana major validators are located. Solana security is not bad, but the decentralization is definitely a concern kind of going forward and their VC backing when they initially started. And if you start to look at how the tokens were initially distributed, it raises some questions as well as the Solana token and the FTX tokens, which obviously have quite a bad reputation now, really helped pump Solana up in its early days. I haven't been a big fan of Solana, to be honest. I definitely would prefer Ethereum because their roadmap and the way they're actually achieving the trilemma appeals to me more. So it's something that kind of resonates with me more than Solana. But I'm not going to lie, the Solana number go up has been pretty wild. I mean, in the last three months alone, you've seen a spike from $40 to $120. And there's been some volatility along the way, but it's been impressive price action. And I'm not gonna lie, the fact that the network was down for five hours and the daily close was still up makes my head hurt a little bit. So maybe the fact that Solana goes down isn't that big a deal. What do you think of Solana's recent outage? What do you think Solana's recent outage is going to mean for its price long term and how much people trust Solana? It's had so many outages, I think it's not going to be that big a deal. I would love to hear your comment below. And if you like talking about crypto, you should definitely check out the link and join my Discord. We talk about crypto all the time. This Solana network outage, it's one of the many things that we talked about today and there's lots of insights to be gleaned. So my major other thing I wanted to quickly bring up is the fact that Solana still calls their mainnet a beta. How many years has it been? Can we still call it a beta? I, I'm getting some Star Citizen vibes here. I don't know about you. So Star Citizen has been in alpha, so not even beta. It's been in alpha for what? More than 10 years? 12 years? It A really long time. And I think we should stop calling Solana a beta. Supposedly the thing that caused the most recent outage was a Solana improvement proposal or SMID, which is an acronym I don't understand. A blocker was added and caused problems down the track. It sounds like there probably just wasn't enough regression testing before the thing went live. So in some ways I should say maybe Solana should be considered beta, but because of how much money is locked up in it, I really wish it wasn't. The 80% of stake required to restart the network after the five hour outage and all the validators came back online. It happened. It doesn't seem to have any additional problems so far, but we'll have to see over the next coming days slash weeks what goes on. I'd love to hear your comment below what you think of this outage and if you think it's gonna have any long-term impact and we'll see you next time.